The rotational joint command creates a joint that would translate to hinges, rotating levers, and other relationships in the real world that have one rotational degree of freedom. All relationships created with the joint command in Inventor are seamlessly translated into joints in a dynamic simulation environment. The ArborPress model we are working on has two parts that will need rotational relationships, the table plate and the pinion shaft. On the ribbon, Assemble tab, Relationships panel, select the Joint command. Move the mini toolbar out of the way if necessary, and then change the joint type to Rotational. Zoom in on the table plate, but do not rotate the model. Hover your cursor over the hole in the center plate and wait for the other toolbar to appear. Click the drop down, then hover the cursor over each option until the lower face option is present, then click to select it. Now, hover your cursor over the area where the groove pin enters the arbor frame. When the bottom face of the arbor frame highlights, click it then click Apply to create the rotational relationship and continue. Notice that the Rotational 1 relationship has been added to the Relationships folder in the browser. Now for the pinion shaft. When using the Joint command, you should always select a non-grounded part first because the first part selected moves to the second one. Select the face of the shoulder on the pinion shaft then the hole on the inner face of the opening in the arbor frame. The pinion shaft moves into place. Rotate the model to confirm that the proper relationship has been created. Click OK to accept the joint and then test the two relationships by dragging them with your cursor. Both new relationships should allow one degree of rotational freedom and the Relationship folder should now contain two rotational relationships.